Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two. We live, baby. What up, though? It is your boy, Pavix Music, in the building. I'm back. Episode... Drum roll. 36? Episode 36. Thoughts with Pavix. We're in the building. Hope y'all good out there in YouTube world. Shout out to all my YouTube monsters. All my... All my YouTube aliens out there. What up, though, man? Hope all is well. Sending sending peace and blessings. You know how we do around here, man. Um, yeah, man, just chiming in, man. We back. Um, it's Friday. <sighs> what we got? Um, no new music. I couldn't find nothing that's really... Stand outish, which is good because you know it's enough stuff going on. But, um, let's talk about me. I just got done recording. I said last week, or I said, uh, I said on the last Thoughts with Payvix that today was the day, June 7th, and I was up all night. Um. Yeah, I ain't gonna get too much into detail, but it is happening. I like the way it's sounding. Um, every time I do it, it's just like it's, it's like I just ah man, I just got this this fire inside me. You know what I'm saying? And like I just be um uh, excited to get that get it out the way, but um. Yeah, we ain't going to talk too much about that. It's on the way, though, and I, I'm liking it. New project on the way. Um, I had tickets to go see Bad Boys 4. I was supposed to go see Bad Boys 4 yesterday, but um, I ran into an emergency uh, with a family member, so I had to cancel it. So, um, I don't know, you know, everything happens for a reason. So I'm going to have to check that out, but I'm just, I just support the franchise. I don't know if it's going to be good or if it's going to be bad, but I know that Bad Boys 2 was such a pivotal movie, not even pivotal, pivotal. It was just epic man the way they shot it the the chemistry you can't you can't buy that nowhere so whether it's a flop or not cuz bad boys 3 was was okay <clears throat> but there's no topping 2 everybody knows that so just how that happened you know, I'm always looking for that. Just like uh, Jay-Z's first album, everybody's looking for that again. You know what I mean? Whether his next albums were as good or better or worse, but it's the feeling and the 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 content that was created for that scene. Like, like Bad Boys 2 is just an epic movie. Beyond. So... I'm always support the franchise. I'm not a flip flop, uh, flip flop. Um, what's the word? Bandwagon, bandwagon fan. Like, I'll give you a prime example. Lloyd Banks is one of my favorite rappers. He got me through my teenage years. 17, 18, 19, 20, like, and that was when he was with G-Unit. That was when he was, uh, you know what I mean, dropping some of the best music of his life, his mixtapes and stuff like that. And then G-Unit splits up. Uh, he has a, uh, his daughter. Um, you know, life changes out of the blue, you know, over the course of decades and years. And his fans kind of changed on him. Now, his content and music has definitely changed a little bit, but I'm going to always support him. 
because that's just the type of fan that I am. Like, if, if I liked you at some point, I'm going to like you forever, as long as you don't do something that's just, like, uh, you know, irreversible. Like, you do something that's just really, you know what I mean, just off the, off the Richter. Other than that, drop a whack project. Drop a sweet project. I don't care. Like, you steal my, you steal my peoples. That's just the way I look at it. That's just who I am. There's no other way, man. I don't see how you could. Like, it can't be that moment over and over and over and over and over again. That's why there's so much controversy in hip-hop now is because everybody sound the same. Or, you know what I mean? And you could go through my catalog. None of my songs sound the same. Like, you might find three or four that resemble another one slightly, but you go get something new every time, and I'll prove it with my next project. But anyway, all right, we're going to make this short and sweet. Um, here's the thought. The more you prepare for tomorrow, the better today will be. I'm going to say that again. The more you prepare for tomorrow, the better today will be. So, example, I didn't plan on doing the thoughts with PayVix today. It was spare the moment. And I hate surprises. I'm going to just throw that out there. I hate surprises of all kinds. I don't like any surprises. But if I did know that I was going to do a thoughts with PayVix today, it would have been a better episode than it is right now. Don't mind me, but people wonder why they fail, and I'll tell you why. They're not prepared to win. Negative mindsets, doubts, depression, overthinking it, whatever it may be, they have not mentally envisioned a positive outcome, and that's the reason they fail. Like you got to be able to envision whatever task you're facing as a win. Um, you want to know something cool? You have powers. <laughs> this is where the mutant powers come in, kids. You have to be able to see things play out how you want them to play out. Over and over and over is practice. Like, you got to go through the motions in your head. Like, okay, this is going to happen like this. And that's going to happen like that. Or at least have an idea. You got to answer those questions in your head. The who's, the what's, the where's, the why's, the how's. Um, you got to go picture, picture a sports game, right? You don't go to the game expecting to see your team losing. You go to the game, you ready for a win. You go ready to 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 celebrate you know what i'm saying you turned up and the same rules apply in life like there is no difference you got to do that every single day um if you had a big exam tomorrow what do you do you study for it you don't just be like oh the exam is tomorrow it's going to be a regular old monday no if you got whatever if tomorrow's a big day um the interviews tomorrow, what do you do? You lay your clothes out. You try and get fresh. You show up clean. You get a haircut. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I mean by by planning for tomorrow. Like, if, if, if you do that, you're doing yourself a huge favor. And shout out to the queen. Shout out to my mama. If you're watching this, I love you. But she always told me, if you take care of yourself, no, you take care of everybody by taking care of yourself. You take care of everybody by taking care of yourself. So if you want to 
save the world and you want to change the world and you want to make a big impact, take care of yourself to the, be the best you you could be. That's you saving the world and changing everything. You know what I mean? So, um, another one, plan your work, work your plan. Like, um, that one's a little more cryptic, plan your work, work your plan. I'm not a huge fan of that one, but, um, you know, that's a key to success. Um, you got to. really utilize each and every day as another chance to chase your dream and another chance to to show people that you won't make the same mistakes that you did yesterday and that you've learned and that you're smarter. And another thing is stop apologizing. You don't want to hear I'm sorry a million times from nobody. You know what I mean? The best apology is changed behavior. That's how you really say I'm sorry. Like saying I'm sorry and breaking down and crying or, or you know what I mean, apologizing from, that works maybe once, twice, maybe three times. Like, like okay, okay. You're sorry, but after that, like the same mistake, like you got to change who you are mentally. Like I said, it was going to be a quick episode, so I'm not about to go into it in depth, but hopefully this go help somebody and stay motivated because I got the keys, the keys, the keys. I got the keys, the keys. All right. Five Ps. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. One more time for the people in the back. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Yes. Okay. Five Ps. Product, price, promotion place people power pussy paper position passion purpose perspective perception persistence polygamy all right uh, um i hope y'all enjoyed the episode thank you for watching Thoughts with Pavix, episode 36. I